Sometimes you need to create a lot of maps of a particular layer. For example, you might need to make a map of individual parcels in your county. Making individual maps for each parcel would be incredibly time consuming. This is where using a map series comes in. Map series in ArcGIS Pro, like its Spark map predecessor, Data Driven Pages, enables you to make a single map that is then used as a template to create many maps. So, let's get into how this works. To get started, open an ArcGIS Pro project and add any layers you want on your map. For reference, I'm using ArcGIS Pro version 262. And for simplicity, I will only be adding a parcel layer and using Esri's base maps, but you can add any other layers you like. First, we need to make parcel layers the only selectable layer. From the table of contents, right-click parcels and select make this layer the only selectable layer. Next, we want to select the parcels that we want to make into a map series. Using the Select Features tool, select the parcels you are interested in. I'm going to select this part of a subdivision. Once you have a selection, right-click on Parcels and click Selection, Make Layer from Selected Features. Then, rename the new layer to Parcels Index. This is to help us keep track of what layer does what. Now we have a layer of just the parcels, and this can be used to run the Map Series tool. Next, we want to create a map layout for our map series. This will determine the appearance of all the maps that are created using the map series. Insert a new portrait of 8.5 by 11 layout. Okay, now let's add main map to our layout using the insert, map frame, and select main map. Let's also add in a legend, scale bar, and north arrow. We are now ready to activate the map series. From the Layout tab, select Map Series, Spatial Map Series. Select Main Map Frame as the map frame. Set Layer to Parcels Index. Set Name Field and the Sort Field to Parcel ID. Next expand Map Extent and change the round scale to Nearest to 10. We did this because the parcels are rather small and the automatic scale would have problems if we left it at 1000. Press OK. Notice the Map Series tab is now active and populated in the table of contents. We now have a working Map Series map, but it needs a little more work to make it useful. Let's insert dynamic map elements starting with the title for the map. From the Insert tab, Dynamic Text Menu, select Page Name from the Map Series group and then place it on the map by drawing a box. Let's customize it so it looks a little larger using the Properties menu to increase the font size. Now that it's larger, it might not fit in the box you created. To fix this, edit the size or the contents of the box. I'm going to remove the page name part and resize it a little bit. Now we have the parcel number as the main title of the map. Let's add in the parcel acreage as another dynamic element using the dynamic text menu and selecting attributes from the map series group. Select the field that has your acreage in it and then draw a box of where you want the text to go. Configure the font as desired. To test the map series, click one of the arrows at the bottom of the map series pages menu in the table of contents. It should cycle through the different parcels that you have selected earlier. Now that the map series is working, let's make sure that the symbology emphasizes the subject parcel. To do that, let's go back to the main map. First, let's change the appearance of the index layer to something that sticks out. I'm going to choose a thick red outline instead of the style used for the other parcels layer. Next, go to the properties of parcels index and scroll down to the page query section. Set the field to Parcel Number and set it to Match. Press OK. Only the active map series parcel should now show in red. You can continue to customize your map, but I'm going to move on to the next step. Now that the map series has been set up, let's export these maps to PDF. From the Share menu, select Layout and then configure the settings. Set Export Location and File Name to something that makes sense. Set all pages to export from the map series tab and set to export multiple files, page names as suffix.
go ahead and press export. Navigate to the folder you exported to and view the PDFs to see if it worked. You should see multiple PDF files with individual parcel numbers and their file name. Here you can now share these maps or go back and export them all as a single PDF. The customizations are really endless. That's the basics on working with a map series in ArcGIS Pro.